Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, I'm going to say this right off the bat, I made a huge idiotic mistake where I recorded this live commentary, and, well, apparently I didn't oh, I didn't save it. So, this one episode is going to be post-commentary, and that sucks, because I recorded this a few days ago, and I can't really remember what I did here. At least not everything. But, uh, so yeah, I really hate doing post-commentary, and it happens very few times where I, I had to do this, but, uh, what can I do? We just gotta get, uh, get past it. And I know I'm talking past, um, what's the name? Joker here, but, uh, basically, I'm looking around because, as you can see, uh, his thugs have kind of taken over Arkham North. Snipers. Looks like the Blackgate thugs have access to the And yes, they're snipers. So... You really don't want to be seen, and you can kind of see, like, from, um, you can see their laser, uh, their, yeah, their guide, or, um, their laser, laser sights. And you definitely don't want to get hit, because, well, one, yeah, you'll, you'll die after a few shots, and, uh, they'll stay on you for a little while. So, usually you can sneak up from behind them, or a good way, you know, just kind of, like, latch on to, like, the ledges of the guard towers and use a performer ledge takedown. Um, but it's usually, not, it's not very hard to, to deal with these guys, usually, anyway. So here, I'm just, I guess I'm just trying to figure out, like, you know, what's the best course and method I can do. So, yeah. yeah like I said, I really hate post-commentary, but, well, actually, the whole aspect of it, it's like, not that I, like, super hate it, it's just I feel like you lose out of the emotion and everything, you know? It makes, uh, to me, yeah, it makes things a little bit easier because you're not, like, distracted like playing a game at the same time. And I feel like if I was if I was able to do post-commentary or, like, if I ch decided just to do only post-commentary, I would have a feeling that I would put out a lot more videos and have a perform or do a lot more LPs, you know, because, I don't know, I just feel like it would, it would be easier instead of me having to record at the same time. I can just uh, I can just record my voice at another time and not have to worry about it, but it's whatever. So, yeah, these guys, I just found it funny how they both perfectly kind of just landed, like, if you want to say, like, a little bit of a grave there. Although not even, but it's a hole in the ground, so. Now, I'm not sure if there's any other, um... Riddler challenges on this place that we can get now. I, I don't think so, but it's definitely in Arkham East, where we're heading to, where Arkham Mansion is, that we'll be finding some stuff. And here, I well, got a special combo take now. And I was noticing how to have, like, Batman looks really odd there, but, eh, what can you do? I guess it was just the... Well, I guess it was just the way it was meant to be done, so it's, it's whatever, really. Uh... I guess I have. I guess we have nothing else to do here. Oh wait, yeah, there's a couple of Joker teeth. Shouldn't be hard to miss. You got three of them just stacked right there. And I also forgot that Arkham North also has botanical gardens. I'm sure when you think about that, hmm, who could be in a bot uh, botanical gardens? Well, I not to be a little bit spoilerish, but you know, come on now, not that hard to figure out. Ah. Uh. No, also now I'm thinking about it, you know, I've had multiple chances to go ahead and grab Arkham Origins, but I haven't just yet. I don't know why. And right here is a, is a special takedown, so it's pretty cool. Um, I, I know a lot of people say, like, oh, Arkham Origins is nothing, like, super special, but I know it's still a good game because it's, like, from what I heard, it's basically, like, just Arkham City. A little bit like that, but I heard like there's a lot of bugs in it, especially playing on a PC, which I was planning on doing, like, getting it for it, because it's cheaper uh, getting it for that anyway. But, um, the thing is, like, I'm wondering if there's going to be, like, some type of Game of the Year edition or uh, some type of edition that comes bundled with, like, any, like, DLC. So I know one of the newer, one, newer ones for Arkham Origins is like, the Cold Cold Heart or whatever, and honestly... I just feel like, you know, sooner or later, they're gonna, it's gonna come bundled, and I'm like, you might as well wait until that becomes, um, until that one gets on sale. Because I think Arkham Origins, it was like for $7.50, not too long ago. And I kind of wish I bought it then, but I was like, no, I'm, I'm just gonna keep holding out until, um, it's either cheaper or there's like a bundle of the DLC, so. 
It's whatever. I can definitely wait. I got other. I got a whole bunch of other games I need to play either way. So you know, I'll be busy for quite a while. So of course, there's a couple more snipers here. There's one here. There's another one right across from us. And over there, on top of Arkham Mansion, where we need to go, there's two of them. They. I was thinking, how the hell is the best way I can uh, take uh, take them down? And I'll show you my way. And I'm not really the smartest, but. It's, it's a little something, you know. You know. If I was more creative, if I was more imaginative, I'm like, you know, takedowns are like what I can do with, with these um, thugs, and yeah, things will be going a lot better. But in this game, or in a lot of games, I'm more of like kind of like the brute force, like do this and do that, do it now, you know. Which is kind of odd because, you know, I love the Metal Gear Solid series, yet that game's basically stealth. I mean, you, yeah, you can go ahead and start shooting around everywhere, but you're not really going to get... Hello again, boys. Well, maybe you get far in it. It would be a lot harder for you, I, I can imagine. No good to us dead. Eh, look, whatever. A here or a cut there won't go yeah, okay, whatever. Shut up, Joker. And I don't know if it's here where I start going for some of the collectibles, or... I don't know, it seems like I'm going to go straight for the snipers. And this is my method of what I did. I was like wondering, I'm like, uh, maybe if I do a one ledge takedown, maybe I can do another one right afterwards. But I'm like, the guy's right there. He's going to notice I took this guy down. And, well, sure enough, you'll see what happens. This guy goes down. I'm like, yay. When the other guy sees me, I'm like, oh, crap. And he actually shot me right there. So I'm like, oh, damn it all. He's out of commission. So... I definitely could have made out made out a lot better, but it uh, it still worked. I mean, yeah, I got shot, but it barely hurt that much. I would expect it to do a lot more damage because it was basically a simple bullet to my face. But you know, hey, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, and now now is where I start looking for the collectibles. As you can see, there's a breakable floor right here that has a Riddler trophy. I'm, I think it was at this point I was wondering, or maybe I mentioned before, like where I may be in terms of, uh, like in terms of like the, I just want to say the length or like you know the playtime of this game. And the thing is, I really can't think of too many other areas to go to. I'm thinking of maybe like, because I know we're we're going to Arkham Mansion in this episode. We will barely get, get going into it too much. Um, and other than that's a big, big place, and I know we'll come here later, and so I we got a good amount of time left for this LP and for this game, but it shouldn't take super long. New brick, metal, and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came. And all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city. And the city would thank us. I would hope the city would thank you if you're doing good for them, but man, who knows. So that's a, another Arkham Chronicle there. Don't, and this is, I, this is what I hate. I mean, I was, I was gonna like, once I noticed I messed this up. I was like, oh, I'm gonna fix it like right afterwards, but I got, I was busy the entire weekend, and I was like, uh, and I was like, I'm just gonna have to do whenever I get the time. And I guess we're actually done here. We're going straight into Arkham Mansion. Okay. I feel bad for that guard hanging in there, but, um, we'll get him. Well, look who it is. Yeah, big bad Batman. Come on, tough guy. Come and get us. Oh, look at him. Stuck out there. Ain't you got a cat to rescue from a tree or something? <laughs> That's right. Go on, get lost. We're in control. Joker will finish you off. I love how they're talking all big and bad because they have this damn electrical gate or electrical barrier between us. Do they really think that I'm just gonna let that one slide? And do they really think I'm not gonna find a way to get in there? So you already know their fate in a matter of a few minutes or so. And I felt bad for this guard. I'm like, he doesn't deserve to be, you know, like, to be, you know, roped up like that. So, yeah, he fell down pretty hard, but, you know, he's dead anyway. Might as well just be proper about it. Uh, that's not even the right way to say it, but you know what I mean. And, hey, look, a vent! 
I think I found a way in. I think those buttholes are gonna be uh well, they're gonna be in the world for hurt. So Ah uh, that's what happens when you mess with the Batman. Honestly, even if you had something between you and Batman, would you still want to talk crap about him? I wouldn't. Yeah, I can't believe Batman just left. Yeah, thinking coward limped off, chased between his legs. Tried to come through and take him on. He wouldn't stand a chance. Yeah, yeah, me too. I'd rip his head off and give it to Joker for a paperweight. Always sucking up to the boss. What's that supposed to mean? So yeah, they're still talking crap about us, but what you notice here is that one of the enemies has a gun. They're always highlighted in red. And this is not a predator room, so you have to fight these guys. What you want to do is take the guy with the gun first. Because if you don't, well, he'll put up, he'll put up, you know, have a fight with us and shoot us and, and we'll probably die. And probably what I should have done is probably just do a takedown right there and then, but, well, either way, it was still good enough time. I don't know if any other enemy can pick up guns. I honestly forgot. And this is something funny. I used a special takedown and the guy kind of warped me. I wasn't expecting it to work, but, um, it did. Kind of funny, but it did. <laughs> uh, and yeah, welcome to Arkham Mansion. This place is somewhat, I don't know if it's really too big, but, um, a lot of important stuff happens here. Now, remember, the reason why we came here in the first place is because this is where Penelope Young needs to go get her notes. And uh, uh, Aaron Cash, the officer, with the hook in his hand, he took her here, escorted her here. But we knew after, like, reading up more... Holy crap. Penji, you scared me. So you found oh, it come here, last. Penji. What you didn't like being by yourself? Your okay. Um, I was gonna say... But we knew after looking up information about her and um, Oracle figuring out like there's like some type of payments going between her and the Joker, that she was obviously up to something. And it seemed like she kind of had a change of heart, but Joker wasn't having any of it. And it seems like, hmm, we have to find Dr. Young now. So, I think we all know why. That's why uh, Bane was calling her a booha. I was like, oh, that's, that's a word. Uh, but then, you know, thank God for Batman knowing his Spanish, or knowing whatever, I'm assuming I was Spanish. Could be wrong, I apologize if I'm wrong, but, uh, he knew it and he translated for us. So he's awesome. Ah. Uh, this match is actually pretty nice. But, also it's creepy. I mean, if I, if I had a mansion like this, I, I, well, I wouldn't. Um, and I don't ever see myself having one in, in my lifetime, I mean... Unless I get lucky like no other, win the lottery, become famous one way or another, which, once again, do, I never see that happening, but a man can dream, can't he? But this vent had a, uh, well, go up here in a little room, and there's another Arkham Chronicle, which I'll shut up and let you guys listen to it. My family's killer stood in front of me. Years of therapy have deemed him sane. I was proud to see him walk free. In exchange for his liberty, the state required only a signature. He talked about wanting to walk in a park, how he longed to feel fresh air on his face. And then he took my father's fountain pen and killed my secretary. As he was subdued, he screamed out, pleading for forgiveness, for pity. But I had none. I watched as guards beat him to a stain on the floor. So, yeah. That was dark right there. Of course, you guys have been paying attention to the whole uh, Arkham Chronicles here. You would know that. Um, basically, I guess Arkham's family was murdered by this dude where they, I think they called him Mad Dog. And, you know, they... Gave, I think he was the first patient there. They treated him, said he was sane, and then all of us out of nowhere, he, well, he was still insane by taking a fountain pen, fountain pen and killing a dude, or killing a secretary. So yeah, obviously not, uh, the guy just simply just didn't give a damn anymore. He wanted to help those people who were sick, and he's at that point, he's like, nope. He's like, you're insane, you're insane, you'll always be insane. Screw you all, pretty much. 
I'm not sure if he felt like that about everybody, but I'm sure that kind of put some type of uh, damper on his mood for any other future patients. And as you can see in this room, there's a lot of people here. Like I think I said, there, I think I said I saw there were ten of them. So this could prove a, a bit of a challenge for any uh, anyone out there who doesn't who doesn't necessarily like fighting. Now I do. I love the fight, the combat in this game, and I I like the challenges regarding the the fighting. Even though I'm not really too good at it, but you know it's it's still interesting. Just like. You get mad when when your combo when you get hit because your combo you know you lose it and it's like I I don't want that to happen. So yeah, I mean there's a lot of enemies here, but you know you use special takedowns to take uh, get rid of them automatically or use your throws. I'm I'm sure that would help. You know, oh there you go. I lost my combo there. That sucked. But what can I do? So yeah. Um, I was gonna say that I'm not sure if these guys can like. I'm not sure if there's like certain ones you want to, you want to take care of first. I'm, I'm not sure if these guys can pick up any boxes around here. I don't see anything they can pick up. But um, if you want, you can probably focus on the guys with the pipes because I, I think they're a little bit harder to um, they're a little bit harder to counter. But it's still not an issue. I mean, I still did somewhat well. I mean, although I got hit a few times, but what can I do? And it's here. Um, I'm looking for a riddle that says, who's the main man in the main hall? Now, this riddle kind of got me, too, because it's like, oh, they're probably talking about this huge-ass, you know, statue right here. I mean, it's the main thing, at least I would think so. And it's like, huh, it must be it, right? Well, I think that's the whole purpose of the riddle. They want to trick you. So, you got to think about it. It's like, who else will be a main man in the main hall? Obviously, there must be some type of other statue or figurine or portrait that shows some type of significance to a, a certain individual um, that has like you know a lot of standing or whatever and actually right here you'll see that uh, where is it up ah, right here there's a like a plaque or a portrait of Commissioner Gordon and it's like hmm that is uh, what the riddle is talking about definitely would have missed that um, if I didn't know that beforehand, or I wasn't looking at the guide, so, yeah. Uh, now there's like a few other Riddler trophies and whatever here, and I think there's an interview tape. Of course, an easy one is, uh, prying off this vent, it's like, uh, It makes me seem like Batman should have probably- up oh, damn it all. It makes me seem like Batman probably could have easily taken off that vent without having to yank, yank like that, but then again, he's not Superman, so it's whatever. And yeah, you can just easily just jump up there, you know, no need for a grapple, although you could, but not necessary. And I don't know how much more there is. Maybe, I think there's, a, yeah, one more Riddler trophy and another interview tape. And, and a couple of these, uh, Joker teeth. Yeah, the other one's actually inside this little room. And I don't think there's anything else besides this Joker teeth, um, inside this room. And so that's why I gotta pry this thing off just for it. And actually, something kind of funny happened here. I was like, okay, I got in there. I was like, oh, here, take this. And then I noticed, huh, look at that table. My battery range is right there. I'm like, I, that wasn't there before. And I'm like, oh, that, I was like, that that was a really good ricochet off the uh, Joker uh, Joker teeth. It just landed perfectly on the table. I was a little, a little happy about that. I'm like, yes, I rock. You know, physics, go. And I believe there's another, I don't think it's an interview tape towards the left there, not in this electrical barrier. And I think I mentioned here, you know, where you, we, we see all these all around, but it's like, how the hell do we get past them? Trust me, we will eventually. Um, so we, I'm going to do a lot of backtracking, but once I said, like I said before, um, I'll save a lot of backtracking for like an episode right before the finale. It's going to be me just basically treasure hunting, so. Oh, okay, interview tape. Conditions. Step away from Dr. Cole! Now! Get down on the ground! We found 
So yeah, as you can see that uh, Scarecrow there is very psychotic. Um, I totally went past my head. I'm like, oh wait a minute, that was actually uh, Dr. Crane, or I mean, it was is his name Crane or whatever. Like Scarecrow actually performing a patient interview, like as a role of a doctor. He, so of course he's insane. And uh, that is it for this episode. And the next one, I will be going into the West Side, I believe, and looking for Dr. Young. So as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Batman Arkham Asylum. See you guys later.